Matai! All right, uh, we got no plans today. We're just gonna go with it. Um, see if we get anything. The tide's on its way out. Um, let's have a quick squeeze. Some nice rocks, some oyster rocks there. Could be good to throw the lure. We got the port over here. This first one's Darimple Bay, coal terminal. The next one over is Hay Point. We all know there's fish under those pylons. All the scaffies will tell you about that on night shift. <laughs> um, yeah, we got no plan. We're just gonna go with it and and try and catch a fish. Yeah. Yes. What about you? Uh, you excited? Yeah. Of course we are. Right. Whenever you take your kids fishing, you gotta always make sure they're comfortable, especially little princesses. And um, now they're comfortable. We'll be able to rock these rocks and um, fucking smash a big one. What do you reckon? Yeah, we'll, if we catch something, maybe we'll cook it up here on the beach. Yep. Cook okay. up the beach? Yeah, on the fire. No, we'll have some fun. Okay. Where? Up there. We'll start it. Oh, let's sorry. Go, let's go catch some food first. Catch food and I see me dead fish. Went to my grandparents in grade three, and um, I wasn't, I was cracking up, not going to school and carrying on. And um, so on my days off, my grandfather, Cucky, we'd, we'd used to call him, um, our, my Cucky, on my days off, he said, All righty, then I'll, I'll teach you how to throw a net. That way, you, you can feed your family forever. And um, so ever since then, I've, I've followed him. I walk down the beach behind him, chuck the net, chuck him for mullet and bram whiting. And ever since then, um, I've, I've been throwing a net. So whenever we're having trouble on our rods or the live bait, we can always rely on the cast net that Bucky taught us to throw. Um, yeah, and I've always, it's never failed. It, it has always fed the family. Um, we, we even sometimes go and go and share it around. Okay, just little ones. And we put them over here. Okay. Put them there. Just them ones. You can break it up here.
but we've got the fire cranking got enough wood on there to to create some coals um now we can leave it leave it burn while we go and clean this flathead and chuck her on where did this go just put it in the bucket good girl um nah that's the esky the bucket yeah yeah we'll have some time to go clean this flathead and we'll come back and chuck her on the coals Well, we got our a little feed. Yup. Um. And we and we found a. What is it? It's a flathead. All we have to do here is um, we just have to gut it, take the guts out. We're gonna leave the scales on because we are chucking it in the fire, and we want the fire, the scales to 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 protect it from from burning the skin. Taste taste some, but I put no snake bit. Yeah, but I just like junk food. I just like junk food. Not cool. Well, that's all we have to really do um, to prep it for the fire. Just keep the scales on, um, take the guts out, and we're just about ready. find my kids wonder where they are I oh, know they'll be over here nah. Nah, they're not there I already know they're over there um maybe they're over here nah not there either wonder where they are Where's that other one? <laughs> Got our cooking weapons. Got our plate. Uh, this is just another little tip um once you do fires on a beach yeah. um always always put it out with water always put it out with water wow. don't 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 cover it because no. covering it in 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 new zealand it's like a, it's like a a hungy they call it and it becomes an oven it, up up the torres straits there we call it cup worry but uh, it becomes an oven so when you cover it all it is is just it's just a landmine for someone to who's walking along the beach to come and burn burn their feet and literally it will peel the skin straight off so always put it out i try not to cover them so people can visually see that there has been a fire there or well, um and they can see it they can avoid it and, and then check it as soon as you cover it people can't see they don't know what's going on underneath there and that's when uh, mistakes and, and bad things could happen just another little handy tip cool all right, uh, it's cooled down a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. Hi, Mum. Does it? 
out the pen. It's a little hot. Yeah, that's just a hot jump. Uh, What's Ooh. this one? That's a little bit of the gill. Yeah, I'll get you a bit, darling. Huh? Me. Here. So, what's that? Should be hot. What is that? Though? So, what's that? Fish. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yep. Try that little bit. Okay. Oh. Yum. Yum. Good girl. Do they fish now? I just like that. Huh? I just like that. Some heat. We grew up doing this kind of stuff. Down the beach. It's good that my kids get to experience it with me now. And I'm eating this now, but I, but I didn't walk in now I'm eating it. So what's this? Dad, you need to buy to um, I make you die you fight you fight book. Good boy. And you die too. Uh -huh. I I do I do I only one person one person don't fish. Um, and, and we the only one what? here. We only the we only the one here. Not anyone else. No. Where's my piece, Dad? You want some? Yes. Mm. Is this Tababa? That's fine, that's fine. Oh, sure. Yes, that's fine. Tababa. Please tell me one. This is my dad called Kabara. And my mum's called Yaka. No, my dad's called Kabara and my mum's called Sam. Kids are loving it, enjoying it. Uh, what's this one? Can I eat it? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I need to one. Eat the bun. That's lunch for today.